What's up guys, this is Shivain and in this video, I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that you have 100% or 99% CPU usage on your PC. Now this is a viewer's request, so if you guys encounter any software related problem, then just comment down on our videos or email us and we will make a solution video for you guys. Now before we begin with the actual solutions to this problem, I would just like to first ask you guys to update your windows to the latest version available. And you can do that by going to your windows search and then searching for windows update after that click on check for updates and then in the windows update column click on check for updates to check for any updates and install them the next thing i would like you guys to do is update all the device drivers to the best and latest versions of them now i can recommend a software which can automatically update the drivers of all your devices with a single button click so if you guys want me to recommend something just comment down below and I'll do that. And finally, make sure that you scan and remove all the viruses and malware from your computer using a third party antivirus software. This is because this problem is either caused because of windows settings or a majority of times because of malware and viruses. Now let's begin with the actual solutions. So the first thing you have to do is go to your windows search and then search for settings. Once you open up Windows settings, then go to privacy, then background apps, then click on disable all background apps. After that, again, go to your Windows settings and this time go to system, then notifications and actions, and then turn off show me tips about Windows. After that, restart your PC to check whether your problem is fixed. What you can do next is open up task manager and you can do that by right clicking your taskbar and then going to task manager. After that, click on the percentage CPU option to sort the processes based on their CPU usage and then end all the tasks which consume high CPU usage and which are unnecessary. For example, Zoom or Skype. After this, you will also find a tab for startup. Just click on that startup tab and then select and right click on unnecessary programs or apps and then select disable to stop them from running in the background after starting up your PC. Now if this did not solve your problem, the next solution is opening up command prompt. So just go to windows search and then search for command prompt and then right click on it and then run it as an administrator. Once you open up the command prompt as an administrator type in the following DISM commands. I'll link all of these commands down in the description below for you to check out. And then finally, after you run all the DISM commands, run the SFC space slash scan now command. Then restart your computer to save the changes and check whether your problem is fixed. If it is not fixed, then we move on to the next solutions. So the next one is disabling superfetch, sysmain and windows search and windows update as these processes many times cause this issue. So what you have to do is open up your windows search again and then this time search for services. Once you open up the services tab, locate superfetch which is also known as sysmain in some windows operating systems. Both are the same thing just named differently on different windows systems. After you locate it, just right click on it and then go to its properties and then in the service status, select stop. If this actually fixes your problem, then what you can do is set the settings in such a way that your startup type is disabled. So you don't have to do this every time you have this problem as the service will remain disabled from the startup of your computer. Now do the same thing for Windows search and also windows update and set all of their startup types as disabled. Also locate the service known as windows management instrumentation and then right click on it and then click on restart. After you do all of this then just restart your computer to check whether your problem is fixed. If your problem still persists then we move on to the next solution. So next again go to windows search and then search for run. And in run, type in event VWR. Here in the pane on the left, go to applications and services logs and then go to Microsoft, then Windows, then WMI activity, 
and then operational. This will show you all the processes that the WMI provider host is dealing with. Now in the middle of the column, look for errors in the service. Then under the general tab below that, check the client process ID number. This should help you zoom in on the app which is causing issues with the WMI that is Windows Management Instrumentation Service and in turn causing this 100% CPU usage problem. Then go back to your task manager and then click on the details tab then sort the processes by PID. Find the process with the error which you found in the earlier step and then right click on it and then open its file location. This will give you the idea of what software or application the process was attached with and then you can just reinstall that software or app or uninstall it or update it to fix the problem. There might be multiple errors in the WMI provider host and not just one. So you have to do this again and again for different errors in order to fix this problem. As this might be caused by more than just one app or process. So if you want, you can do this step at last after you finish doing all the other solutions in the video. The next step is using the registry editor to fix the Windows 10 100% CPU usage problem. So just go to your Windows search and then search for run and then type in regigate. After that, follow the path H key local machine, then system, then current control set, then control then session manager and then memory management. After that, find clear page file at shutdown and then set its value to 1. Also, in the registry editor, search for HK current user, then Microsoft, then software, then Windows, then current version and then search. After that, locate the D word named Bing search enabled. Then change the value data from 0 to 1 or if it is set to 1, then turn it to 0 and then click on OK. Then restart your computer to save the changes and check whether your problem is fixed. Now the next solution is resetting your power plan. So type in power plan in your Windows search and then open up edit power plan. Once you open it up, then click on change advanced power settings and then in the drop down menu, select balanced instead of high performance. Then choose the option restore plan defaults and restart your computer to save the changes. Then check whether your problem is fixed. If it is still not fixed, then we move on to the few other solutions that we have in this video. The next one is opening up your file explorer. then right click on this PC from the left hand side panel and then click on properties. Then click on the advanced system settings link and then in the advanced system settings press on the settings button in the performance section. Make sure that you select adjust for best performance option in this and then click on apply. Then restart your PC to check whether your problem is fixed. The next method is optimizing your hard drives by using defragmentation. Now defragmentation is quite a complicated process. So I'll just mention a simple way to optimize your drive. But if you want me to make a complete guide, then just come in down below and we can do that as well. So go to your Windows search and then search for one. Then type in DFRGUI, then press OK. After that, select the hard drive you like to defragment. Then click on the optimize button. I recommend that you start with the drive you have Windows 10 installed, which is most likely the C drive. After that, you can optimize the other drives to possibly lower your CPU usage even more. Now, the last recommendation that I have in this video is again opening your command prompt as an administrator and typing in the following power config commands. Now, this is the last recommendation. And you should do this as a last resort after you have tried all the solutions in the video. Once you type in the commands, then just restart your computer to save the changes and check whether your problem is fixed. If it is still not fixed, I can just recommend disabling your third party antivirus software. 
and also your windows network protection settings and even if that doesn't work then what you can do is reset windows and you can do that simply by going to windows search and then searching for reset this pc and then click on get started to start resetting your pc finally I recommend that you also check up your power supply and other hardware on your computer because a hardware issue might also cause this problem. So this was it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and this video helped you guys. If it did then consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.